Video conferencing and meeting is more popular than ever, and with the option to use Google Meet completely free, here are some tips and tricks to use it like a pro. Some of these tips you might already know, but we promise there will be some that you will find super helpful. So without further delay, let's jump straight into the video. Google Meet Tips number 1. You can simply type meet.new in the browser address bar and hit enter to start a new meeting. Once you are in, you can add participants by typing their emails or sharing this URL. And don't worry if you close this window by mistake, you can copy this address before the question mark and this link will work as well. Don't be that guy who joins a meeting and discovers his microphone or webcam is not working correctly. So save yourself from a lot of embarrassment by checking your audio and video before you join a call. Google Meet will show all of your input and output devices and show you the results if they're working properly or not. Tip number three, you can change your background in Google Meet. Click on this three dot menu and select visual effects. From here, you can blur your background, choose one of the preset backgrounds, and even upload a custom image from your computer. Depending on what type of meeting you're in, you might want to change the layout so that you can see everyone at once or just the person who's hosting. To change the layout, again click on these three stacked dots and you will find the option here. Now you can change the layout as well as the maximum number of tiles you want to display. If you're in a large meeting and can't quite focus on where the main speaker is, you can pin them to be in the front and center. To do this, hover your mouse cursor to that person's video window and click on this push pin icon. Once a meeting ends, you cannot do much to revisit certain parts or share them with your friend. So if you realize that you might need the clip later, you can simply record it in the first place. For this, tap on the options menu and select record meeting. Do you know that you can make your video conferencing a lot more interactive and engaging by sharing your computer screen? If not, let's show you how. First, move your mouse cursor to the bottom screen and tap on the Present Now button. Once done, select whether you want to share the entire screen, a window, or just a tab. Here's another pro tip. You can use Whiteboard to brainstorm ideas together in your meeting. From Options, select Whiteboard first, then click here where it says Start a New Whiteboard. Now you can upload a photo and give your design team feedback about the text, color, and other things that you don't like. If you have a poor connection and can't hear the speaker correctly, you can turn on captions from here. Surprisingly, it's pretty accurate, and now you won't face any problem understanding those native speakers. For now, Google Meet supports six languages, including English, French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish. Sometimes you'll need to schedule a meeting with your team in advance, and Google Meet has your back with calendar integration. To schedule an appointment, go to the Google Meet's homepage first, then click on New Meeting and select Schedule in Google Calendar. Now fill out all the necessary details like title, dates, time, and participants, and you'll be good to go. By default, Google Meet sets the video quality in standard definition, but if you have a high bandwidth connection, you can change that to high definition for crystal clear video conferencing. You can access this feature from the video settings menu. Once you get there, change both the send and receive resolutions to 720 pixels. So that was all about the tips to use Google Meet like a pro. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.